let me play devil's advocate because I think yeah. we're on the same page, but I'll just play devil's advocate. No, for, okay, for a I'm, that's fine. That's um, good. Why even bring this up? I mean, all you're doing and coming on this show and talking about this is creating confusion among the faithful who, look, just stick to your book, The Fulfillment of All Desire. Tell us how to become saints. Tell us about the Eucharist. Why get involved in this stuff? Why attribute? It sounds like you're attributing motives to Pope Francis when you say things like, look at the appointments, when that's not the most charitable thing to do. Maybe you could try to read it a different way. Isn't this just creating unnecessary confusion that's going to end up driving people out of the Catholic Church? Yeah, well, I don't think you can explain the appointments any other way. You know, I've heard people say that, I've heard people actually attack me because I did the video on it's unmistakably clear where we're now being led. And they say, well, you can't, you can't judge Francis's motives. I'm not judging his motives, but if personnel is policy and these are consistent appointments and there's a growing number of them, mm -hmm. uh, wake up and smell the coffee. And they say, well, the defense people give sometimes as well, maybe he doesn't know what these people believe. That's ridiculous. It's kind of insulting too to yeah, Pope Francis. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's totally ridiculous. Or or maybe he has bad advisors. Oh, he chooses his advisors. He chooses who to listen to. He's not some dummy that just does what people are telling him to do. So the defenses, I find just totally lack credibility. Mm. And, and I think there's a tremendous danger here because of reverence for the papacy to deny reality. I mean, I th and I think that's very bad for the church. Mm. I think it's very, very bad for the church where our reverence for the office keeps us from seeing reality about what we're really facing. Because mm -hmm. if we don't see what we're really facing, we're not going to be able to prepare ourselves to resist it. Yeah, I'll, I'll make an analogy, and it might be a bad one because I'm certainly not accusing Pope Francis of sexual immorality or anything as grievous that took place in the American uh, sex abuse scandal in the no, church. I certainly have never accused him of that. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, of course yeah. you haven't. But yeah. here's the analogy, right? Like if, if when that happened, I think a lot of Catholics didn't want to address it, didn't want to look at it, were deeply ashamed of it. And then, well, everybody else is now talking about it, including those people who are interested in becoming Catholic. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're, they're looking to Catholics to try to address this mm -hmm. in a way that can keep them within the church yeah. and not in some sort of set of a contest off, offshoot yeah. or push them into orthodoxy. So it yeah. would seem to me if I lived during that time in America, what would have strengthened my faith is listening to a faithful son of the church give a, give a sobering account of the reality of things. So I get, okay, so it is that bad. And yet you're still here. Why? That kind of thing. Yes. And yeah. I really want to make that clear because I know that when people who aren't as familiar with things hear some of the depth of it, they get shaken. And I definitely want to say, don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. There's a lot of dirty bathwater in the Catholic Church. There's a lot of corruption. There's a lot of financial wrongdoing. There's a lot of immorality. Yeah. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of incompetent leadership. There's a lot of There's questionable appointments. A lot of knuckleheads stuff like me. But... Yeah. Jesus is the Lord, and he's the treasure of the Catholic Church. What he reveals to us, what God reveals to us in sacred scripture and the sacred yeah. tradition is life-saving. Where, where else are we going to go? That's the truth that will save us, you know? So the sacraments. So I, yeah. I, I haven't had the slightest temptation ever to leave the Catholic Church, and I hope nobody does. And I think if you have it, you need to resist it. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, do us a favor, leave a comment, let us know what you thought of the video, like and subscribe.